spell it, but it's R H as in Henry, E S U S. Oh, the rhesus, rhesus, rhesus. maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Re- rhesus is rhesus monkey, so it's R H negative, R H positive. Yeah. Yeah, R H negative. Uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> well, R H negative means that that the blood does not have the rhesus gene, and the rhesus gene is a monkey gene. And then there's the RH positive. Now, whether you're RH negative or RH positive doesn't mean that one is superior and one is inferior. But of course, when you're dealing with people who uh, built a system on blood rights, blood ritual, blood sacrifice and control, they'll take whatever they can. And now there is you know, quite a bit of evidence in the, with the Genome Project that they're playing with RH negative, RH positive, and, and one might even argue that the work that they did in producing and manufacturing um, AIDS or HIV was around manipulating these kinds of, of things. Um, the origin, well, there's, there's, some, there's some argument. And let, let me take a biblical uh, angle here for a moment because there's a lot of information in the Bible and uh, it's often how to interpret it. Some might recall... Um, a, some of the references in the first chapters of the Bible in, in um, Genesis where there was uh, complaints that uh, there was a mixing of races that there was um, copulation between one race and another producing a hybrid and the hybrid was considered an abomination so one might consider that that um, over time there's evidence that there is cross uh, uh, cross pollination as there was between the Neanderthal and the um, the early ancestors of the Homo sapiens where there was you know, interactions there could well have been interactions with other species hundreds of thousands of years ago producing uh, hybrids so whatever the origin is and that may well be and origin, um, I would suggest to you that um, uh, it's certainly not clear, but it doesn't, to me, make any difference whether one has an RH negative or an RH positive blood. Uh, If you have the mechanics and the machinery of being a member of the Homo sapiens species, then you are given an extraordinary gift capable of developing a mind and that mind lives beyond the death of the body. So that's my quick so quick summary of that. All right, thank you, Frank. Well that looks like it about wraps things up with the questions. Uh, if you wanted to wrap anything up with any other comments and Well yeah, well, Terry, thanks again for hosting. You do a great job and and uh, I just want to thank everyone who's come on to the call tonight, everyone who will be listening to the, the call later. I, I really appreciate the questions. I'm sorry if, if I can't answer every question straight. If I don't know, I, I don't know. But I, I do hope that in this call and, and the calls that we've, we've been making and in the material, that anyone that comes to it can find something to help them help them in their journey, help them in their understanding, so that ultimately uh, we can end the fears and end the concerns and end the control, what the word means in government, the control of the mind that continues to perpetuate a system, a madness system. So I really appreciate the chance to share this with you, to listen to your queries, to answer your questions, and to help. Uh, It's an honour. And thank you. Well, thank you, Frank. And also, okay, uh, thank you for all the yeah. help. Thank you, Frank, and I appreciate uh, your feedback and your comments. And I uh, didn't know if you wanted to wrap up on this one last thought and comment about uh, the spiritual binding, uh, using a spiritual binding as a result of dishonor in the physical. And um, maybe just expanding as Absolutely. we close out on that. Okay. Thank there you. is an article in the Covenant of One Heaven. It is very deliberate and it was something that was made clear to me when this was being written had to be there. Uh, It is Article 121 on bindings. 
And the issue of binding is this. When you are facing those of ignorance, uh, when you are facing uh, cruelty, when you are facing a system that will not accept that it is breaching its own rules, then it appears that there is a passive absence of the spiritual. The question sometimes is put, where is God when these people dishonour the law? Well, the answer is this. When they dishonour their system and claim the divine and dishonour it, then they themselves contract. Just as we are claimed to contract, they contract. And the contract is a binding. Now, some may not understand it. Some may not understand how it works. We do not and cannot invoke it. It is a solemn contract between one who is holding an office who openly breaches in a most serious manner material that is clearly of a divine authority in nature and when that occurs, a binding contract is evoked. And the consequences of a binding contract are clear in that article. Now, whether you believe it or not, it exists and it is formal and it is real. And whether it happens today or tomorrow, that is not our department. As I said, we can't evoke it, we can't enforce it. But it is definitely something that is happening to them every single time they have dishonoured. So that's really my summary. And if you want to understand it, go and have a look. Yeah? Would, would you, uh, yeah, you could you summarize that as pretty much a divine judgment. Well, would a divine say? judgment um, in this case is the system claims the authority of the divine. The system claims to be the succession of prophets and messiahs, whether one believes one to be the only son or a prophet, whatever belief anyone belongs to, the current system of elite claims to be in their position by divine right. Well, a divine natural procedure has been in place for the last three years and at the end of this year is a summary judgment. And the summary judgment is to formally end that fraud the end of fraudism. Now, do I expect the people in positions of power to give it up? No, I think they will, they will cling to the, to the fingernails are ripped from their fingers as they fall. But at the end of the day, history, as I say, will be our judge and it can be in no uncertain terms that they have been given notice, repeated remedy, repeated ignorance, and the judgment comes. And that is judgment day the end of their world. It's their world that ends, not not us. All righty? Very good. Thank you, Frank. And I'm glad to be here to, to today to host and host for you and for everyone. And we thank everyone for joining us tonight and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we are we on for next week, Frank? Yes, we are. And uh, I really appreciate, again, thank you for all and uh, look forward to next week. And I really look forward to showing you the canons and the updates. So I'm working towards that. Very good. Thank you. And uh, we'll see everyone then next week, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, for the University of Acadia Talk Show call with Frank. Have a wonderful night and then have a good day, Frank. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Night. Yes, thank you. Good night.